everybody, this is Ashley Jones. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with MyBlock Piecer. MyBlock Piecer is a software that you can select from built in blocks or bring in artwork for your own block, and it will create a stitch file that your embroidery machine will recognize so that you can piece your blocks in the hoop. So let's get started. First, you're going to go to your block library. And from these categories, you can scroll down and look at all of the different blocks that you can create and find the one that you want to work with. I'm just going to use a basic block, our nested triangles. Once you've selected the block, you can then adjust the size. Remember, this is finished size, so there's a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire block, making it a half inch larger than the size you select. You can also create a custom size and enter the size that you want. I'm going to just use six by six block and click OK. Now that my block is on my screen, if I change my mind and want to make it a different size, I can go to my Transform tab and enter the exact size that I want my block and apply the changes. I'm just going to leave my 6 inch block. Once you have your block on your workspace, now we need to convert it to a stitch file that your embroidery machine will recognize. We do this through our workflow. Choose the workflow icon. You can make adjustments to the spacing, margin, um, things like that, the seam allowance. In this case, I'm just going to leave things as is. And if I want to convert this to a stitch file, I click my auto build. It automatically converts it to a stitch file that we'll see in a moment. I like to think of things in chronological order, so I'm going to click sort numbers. This will put the numbers in the order in which the file is going to stitch. Now I can click my preview option. And this is the stitch file my embroidery machine will recognize. I'm going to save my design. I'm going to save my design on my desktop. You can choose any location you'd like to save your design. Choose the format for your embroidery machine and give the file a name. Then click Save. Once it saves the file, this PES file, or whatever format for your embroidery machine you'll be using, will be the file that you copy and open in your embroidery machine. This is just an image of the artwork, and this is PDF instructions for how to stitch out your block. If I open this PDF, it's going to give us the exact order in which the block stitches out. I know that this is piece number one, two, three, four, and five. This file also shows you an image of the stitch file. This is the first thing that stitches out, so you'll know where to lay your pieces of fabric. And the last page gives you the details of each color change. Color number one will stitch the entire placement stitch for the block. Number two is the tacking stitch for your fabric number one. You want to place that down right sides up. Every color change from that point forward will be the folding stitch or the seam for the pieces in between the previous piece, and then each piece is tacked down before going to the next seam. Hope this helps get started with your MyBlock piecer.